Going? Yo, let's do it. What's going on, everyone? Yeet. Welcome back to my channel. Yeet. I hope you're doing well. Um, this is my friend Kyle, and today we're going to be doing a video with his uh, lovely new ST uh, Mark 8, Mark 8 ST Fiesta. So, when did you get this car, Kyle? Um, start of September now, I think, actually. Yeah, <laughs> long time ago. <laughs> <laughs> right, so we're just going to take a look. So, we've got the ST 200 paired up with it as well. Kind of. They're meant to be there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> We've got the SD200 paired up with it. If it's not a burnt clutch, that's me. Um, but yeah, this is the... Let, let, I, I want to focus more on attention for this anyway, because I think this car is a special piece of work, considering I had one before. Uh, from Buckingham Ford. So this is where you got it. Yours from, didn't yeah, you? Yeah, same place. See, Kyle <laughs> saw the video, liked the pops and bangs that came from the exhaust, and was like, I want one, and then went and bought one. And how did they get it? They had to ship it from Cardiff, didn't they? Yeah. There was one, I bought one. Um, then it like got sold the next day, so ah. I had to wait a week for it to be shipped down. And then got it but Tuesday. Went straight to work. I think you got the best car. Yeah. Was it silver fox? So that's what yeah, you yeah. It was that old performance blue. Performance blue does look good. Mm. Car and Hearts was UK one. Yeah. But so this video basically is going to be a comparison um, of the interior and exterior of the ST200 and uh, Kyle's Mark 8 Fiesta ST2. Uh, so yeah, first of all, I think there's a massive update. Uh, I spoke about it in my last video. There was a massive update to the uh, interior from the Mark 7, something which people have been waiting an absolute age and eternity for because they are so outdated, it's unreal. Chad, more about that in a minute. But this Sync 3 system, what do you think to it? You know, using it from, you had a, what did you have before? Uh, just the EcoBoost, so. So Kyle had a Mark 7 EcoBoost, uh, one litre before. What do, you, what do you think differences, you know? Well, it's a, Major update for me, never having a set, like, sat nav in the last one, and it was such a small screen, and yeah. now it's just like out there and so easy to use. It's, it's quick as well, like the other ones are like yeah. slow and buggy. Well, really I think I think the fact nothing. that they've updated this like display, it reminds me a bit of you know, the Mercedes displays or the old Mercedes displays. Yeah. They've probably outdated them now to the newer versions, but no, it looks good. I think I think it's and a massive update. bad because you can't fold this away, but I just turn off. I wouldn't want to use it. <laughs> well, yeah, well, you mean you can. This music will still play as you turn it off. It just and it just. Isn't, oh, there. That the is way. the most annoying thing. Traffic announcements. <laughs> Awful. Man. Don't use them. So. Um, but yeah, other than that, obviously you've got the new um, slim lined sort of heating controls. What do you think to these? Easy. The to other use. ones, other ones are like crap. Yeah, it's you a lot turn it up. To use. I don't mind it, but it, I still prefer this car to be honest. And a lot of people are like, "Oh, you got an ST two hundred, but you know it's rare." Yeah, it is, but it's. I've only ever seen not. two other STs out on the road. Yeah, I've, I've, I've seen one. Months. I've seen one, and that was a performance blue one. Um, and it looked nice, but I do prefer this colour because I think it's stealthy and disguised. Um, other than that, what do you think to the new dash as well? Yes, yeah, miles better than the last one. You just scroll through everything easier, and so I love that the fact that they put the actual car on there on the front of it now. Well, I'm it says for like settings, but it doesn't do I anything. I don't know why it does. Yeah. I'll tell you what, though, this one has launch control, and we will show you that in another video, uh, which we're going to film today anyway. Um, it is uh, pretty mean, isn't it, I think? Yeah. <laughs> I burnt the clutch when I tried to race it. Not this one, but in mine. Um, that's just because I'm not the best driver in the world. Um, but yeah, obviously, it's got carbon fibre inlets now, isn't it? It's not real carbon fibre, no. but it's like plastic inserts, and I think... It gives you that feel. Yeah, it's it gives you that budget. sporty feel. I like the steering wheel. Steering wheel, steering wheel definitely is more of a. When when I drove it before, it was very. I don't know how you say it. You feel like it's more responsive than the other one. The other one's responsive, but that feels. Mm. It seems thicker. I'm pretty sure it is thicker, isn't it? I think so. Yeah. Yeah, 100% is thicker. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I like the ST they've got now because on the other one it's just down here as well. Seats as well. What do you think to the seats? Yeah, that's. I mean, drove 10 hours in it. Wasn't uncomfortable at all. <laughs> Oh, I mean, so, honestly, I drive two hours in mine and my leg starts aching and I can't hate it. No, this is comfortable. To be fair though, mine's more fo comfortable than I found my mum's old Focus to be. But I like the fact these are leather, because on mine, plastic. Could get it covered though, which would be nice, but I don't The one think thing I do prefer than this and all of them, they've covered this deadly hole up. Ah, uh, yes, because in mine it's not like It's not leather. No. It's not leather down there. You used to lose your life savings down there money falling out your pockets all the time 
But I think the fact that you've got auto stop start as well on this, which is nice. Mine doesn't have that. I know hey, some people is. hate it and they want to leave it off, but it is annoying. Pardon? It's the most annoying thing yeah. known to man. <laughs> yeah, I do turn it off, but obviously no. you have got three different modes now as well. You got your comfort mode, you have got sport mode, you got race mode. I literally drove in race mode the whole time when I reviewed it um, because it opens up the valves on the exhaust and makes it sound pretty mean. I think it sounds mean anyway compared to the old <laughs> S2, but yeah, there's, there's a lot to go by and yeah, you'll see that from the interior shots that we've done. Right, so we're back in the ST200 now, uh, good old Mark 7, and as you can probably tell, we'll go, we'll go straight in with the um, DAB system, the lovely infotainment system, which is absolutely pants on these in comparison to what the new ST has. <laughs> like you look at the screen, it does have sat nav as well, like, um, I can't even remember where it is. Where the fuck is it? Um, I've completely lost where my maps are. Oh, there we go, nav, map. There we go, so you've got all the like navigation buttons and people who would have seen my videos before on this would know, um, apparently we're in the middle of nowhere. Well, we're in an industrial estate at the moment, but yours definitely looked better when it showed up. Like it shows you like an above thing. Like you can change, um, change your views I'm pretty certain. Uh, yeah, like on here you get the little settings. It tells you your current position and stuff like that. But yours looks so much better in terms of actually being under, to understand where you're actually going. Um, this, the volume controls, not a massive fan of. There's too many buttons here. Mm -hmm. too, too, too compact for my liking. That, that's just too small. For a hazard line. Yeah. yeah. No, it's just tiny. I don't really have to use it, but you know, on the odd occasion when uh, you're saying thank you to someone for letting them out. Uh, but then you got the, obviously, temperature controls. This isn't too bad, to be honest, but I don't like how this is all in a circle. Like, I find myself trying to look down to actually figure Ooh. out what I'm pushing half the time, where I know when I reviewed that, you can literally just, it's a quick look down, touch where you want. there's more space in it. In here? Yeah, like here. Because the dashing the one seems like yeah. it's coming forwards. Yeah, that, that, I feel like the, that, the dashing, the, the Mark 8 is definitely higher up. Obviously, my favourite thing about this car is probably that. Just the little ST200 inlet, because I'm pretty sure in the standard STs it's just blank. Um, obviously, you got you have got three modes on this, but people won't, uh, won't classify it as a race mode. Uh, you got normal mode, which is in now, and you got click the that off, and you get sport mode. But if you do hold it down in a second, I'll turn it back off and then hold it down. So you get sport mode, and then just turns traction control off. Even though I'm pretty sure there's still electronics, electronic stability controls that are working. Uh, if you turn that back off in a sec, which it is now, and then hold this down, which will completely turn the electronic stability control off, which apparently is the equivalent of race mode, I've heard, in the ST3, not ST3, the, uh, the Mark 8 ST. But yeah, I, I don't really drive in this sort of mode. I never take it out on track to need that sort of uh, traction control. Um, as Carl was talking about in the earlier bit, the this obviously isn't got the leather kind of inlet to kind of stop it from going anywhere. Do apologise for all of this sort of stuff. It's just a little package, Chris. You know, uh, this sucks. It's got I don't it. like. Yeah, it's got a bottle of coke in it and some. I don't know what else it's got in it. Ham and cheese. Ham and cheese. Yeah. <laughs> but this annoys me because this should be leather. You know, bear in mind the car was like 25 grand new. You'd expect it to be leather, but it wasn't. But you can get these wrapped and stuff in leather. I think it costs a few hundred quid to get it done. Um, let's talk about the steering wheel as well. The steering wheel. Obviously, this is. I'm, this is so much thinner than yeah, it looks what it is. You know, I feel like you get a good grip on it, but I found with that you get more control. I feel like you have more control on the car. Um, obviously, the ST symbol looks rubbish in comparison to yeah. that one. So put that there, flat bottom. Yeah, it, yeah, plus like the. I don't know what that's made out of the material on the steering wheel, but it feels like this is obviously leather, but it's like you feel it, it's just hard. Yeah. Yours is like soft. Really softer, yeah. Soft, yeah. Hundred yeah. percent, and the dash is just bog standard like you don't get all that fancy like screen which tells you you've got launch control and everything like that to be fair though my miles to the gallon on this like literally that is all you get 36.8 miles to the gallon which is not bad i don't really drive this too hard but when i do i do give it a bit of a hoon um but yeah that is literally all you get out of this um in terms of the interior dashboard seats what do you think to the seats in these i just feel like they hug you in more than my ones <laughs> really so i, th yeah. I thought they, they hugged you in more right. These are a lot bulkier than those. Yeah, they, these are like bigger seats, but yeah. they're not leather, whereas the other, you can get the leather seats in there. Mm. 
Um, I, I like these seats. They're comfy. I like the heat. You got heated seats as well? Yeah, yeah heated yeah. seats. They are nice. I like the leather. I feel like it hugs you tighter and I feel like you're more comfortable sometimes. But these these are definitely more comfortable than that, I think. Yeah. However, I still get leg ache after driving for two hours all the time. But other than that, I think that's literally everything to do with this car in terms of the interior. Obviously, you haven't got the carbon inlets either. It's all like... What is this stuff? This is like soft plastic, isn't it? Just yeah. push it in. It's a weird type of material. Yeah, it's just... It's not the best. But I'm glad they finally updated it. And you are, you are a lucky owner of one that has it. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, other than that, I think um, we're going to have a look at the exterior. So we're going to talk about the exterior of the two cars now, kind of comparing them. Um, yeah, Carl, just literally tell us what sort of spec you got on your ST2. Well, so I got it with the full LED headlights, uh, which I think are a lot better than the last ones, just standard. The move All high really beams. Auto high beams? Yeah, oh, auto I like that. When I reviewed right. the edge, you get that. That's something I missed. Massive. Yeah. Oh, it's just got the indicators. A bit like the Audi indicators, yeah. one where they light up and go to the side. Only on the front. That's the only bit that annoys me. It's only on the front, not the back. Mm. Um, Obviously, the Silver Fox put some paint. Uh, slightly similar to, uh, very similar to be honest, to the ST200. Mine's slightly darker. It's got like a glitter effect in it. Yeah, it's nice. Like the Fox Blue. What do you think of the grill on these compared to? They're a lot smaller. I don't think they look as mean as the other ones. No, but. I like your number player. They're a bit like funky. Yeah. 4D. Just a standard. Um, it's got the performance pack as well. So. Talk about the alloys. What are they? 17 inch. Yeah, 17 inch. Just a standard. Um, what are the other ones you can get? On the 18 inch uh, diamond cut ones. See, mine are diamond cut. Yeah. But they still look nice though. Well, the one that I reviewed as well, the demo car from Buckingham Ford. That was good. That's the exact same alloys, but I think they looked alright. A lot of people were complaining about them, but I don't think that was an issue. What yeah. what tyres are these ones? These are the Michelin Pilot Sport. Super Sport. Super yeah. Sports. So I got to see. They told me that they were designed specifically for this yeah, car. Yeah, they are. Yeah. That's something I didn't realise. I didn't didn't know Michelin did that for each different type of car they offer. Yeah. I'm done, not too sure about the miles radius of what the tyres will last, but yeah, they're meant to be good long. Well, Michelin are <coughs> tyres anyway. But one thing I would personally change, I would have these painted red or sprayed red or whatever. Like mine. I think it's a nice effect on black. <laughs> Obviously you've got the fire door as well, so uh, family life. Family life. <laughs> Let's take a look at the rear of the car. Something something which most people would hate it. A lot of people didn't like the I, rear. I did like it and then I bought one. And yeah, I think they look I, good. I love it. No, I don't get what why everyone hates it, but I, I think the the fuser on the back of it looks good compared to mine. I like the kind of in I kind of like these two little ins, um, slate things uh, compared to mine, which is like diffuser fit. Diffuser, yeah. The only good. thing I will say is it seems a bit like. Oh, well, like. Shoddy. Like, it definitely is. Bashed yeah, but this. Ford are known for that. Have you touched yeah. a Ford Mustang? <laughs> you literally touch them things and they crumple up. You're literally just paying for an engine, a bit of performance <laughs> detail, <laughs> a slightly upgraded interior, but the, um, you know, the um, body work's never been Ford. Uh, Priority, it's how it drives and how it's obviously they're designing to work with that, but make it as lightweight as possible, I guess, for a hot hatch. I'm not sure which one I prefer, but the spoiler. Oh, uh, yeah, the spoiler on these. No, I don't it's think like these don't look angry, these don't uh, look like aggressive, angry enough. Like, you wouldn't look at that from behind and be like, oh, it looks like a an aggressive looking car that's going to leave you for dead. The roof yeah. is made for aerodynamics as well, whereas yours is just. Yeah, see, back. yours goes like that and then flips, flicks up, but mine's kind of got like, same, but that looks good. I think. See, I think the I think the lights on these look so much better than them, just because they come into the actual back of it more. So you look, look, look at mine in a second, it's completely on the side. But other than that, I think that's a, I think it's a nice car, but I prefer the body kit on mine, or the way the shell is, but other than that, it's, a, it's not a bad motor. Definitely drives nice. My ST200 now, and do a bit of a comparison in the exteriors. Um, I think what we'll do is start by taking a look at the lights again, like we did with the others. These, like in comparison, they're crap. Like, in all honesty, they are not the prettiest looking things. Like, would you, would if, if this was behind you at night time and you saw it, would you think that thing looks evil? 
or angry, it looks aggressive, it looks like it's going to come at you and go and overtake you. I don't think it does, not compared no. to yours. I think the lights on that look a lot of McLaren. Have you seen the McLaren lights? No. They, really look, <laughs> they look just like the front of them, but then again, I think most cars nowadays do. But yeah, these obviously are very outdated, so not too bad, but I'd definitely have yours. What, what have you got in the front of yours again? Oh, they're full LEDs, aren't they? Yeah, so they just... They these, these aren't LEDs, either. They're standard, though. Um, obviously, the grill. I think the grill looks a bit more aggressive on this yeah. than on yours. 100%. Because of the fact that they didn't put the and grill. Yeah, this is more smaller. It, yeah. The more back of your hole. Yeah, this looks like it's going to eat you up for dinner. I think a lot of people said this looks like the, looks like a fish with its mouth open. If you look at it from, like, the eyes here and then you look at it... People hated this when it first came out. People thought, oh, it looks ugly compared to the old one, but then it just grew to everyone's liking. I think that's exactly what happened with the a other one. A lot of people have them. A lot of people have them, so it's a beautiful car. But obviously the paintwork on this, Storm Grey. Um, I think this is limited to like 3,000 cars in Europe. I know that, I believe, I think, there was only 1,000 of these registered in the UK. So there's not many of them about. I think I've only seen like four different ST200s in the year and a half that I've owned it. Let's talk about the alloys. So you've got the 17 inch diamond cut alloys with the red brake calipers. I personally think these look better than yours. <laughs> so, yeah, I think these, I think these on the ST, uh, on the Mark 8 ST would look really, really good. But obviously slightly dirty as well, even though Connor done his winter protection last Friday. What do you think to the actual slim line of the body shell compared to yours? I don't know if it's because yours is a two door, well, a three door. I think the three five, door looks better, 100%. Yeah. It's still got the same fleeky line across yeah, the, up here, across the side, yeah. But, but yeah, I think, I think if these in three doors are very, very nice looking, uh, but I still think the shell on these look better. Like, there's, there's mix and match options that you could choose between the two. So let's go and have a look at the back of the car anyway. My favourite bit. Well, on the exterior anyways. This little thing, when people see it, it's like, oh, it's an ST200, but most people don't need to see that to tell, they just literally see the paintwork and I like. You just get all the other people that are Mark 7 ST owners, and they'll literally just, you'll be driving past it, and they'll just look at you and be like, out the window. Because like, most people never see them around. The exhaust on this though, nothing in comparison <laughs> to yours. These are absolutely pants, and uh, I do want to upgrade at some point, just don't really have the money right now. What do you think to the diffuser on this in comparison? I don't think this looks as aggressive as yours. No, it's a lot chunkier, a lot this. better, like the, yeah. the honeycomb part yeah. rather than the white one. But yeah, you don't really have that added into yours either. Yeah. Definitely prefer the lights, 100%. What, on this? I do, yeah. You, you I prefer like the lights bit. on these? Yeah, yeah. See, I prefer yeah. the lights on that. So on my old one, I never used to have this, I just used to have plain red. Yeah, see, but these, these four... The Mustang has that. Out. That's what the Mustang has when they indicate. But I don't think mine go, because you know on the Mustang they do the thing where it lights up one by one? Yeah, no. This doesn't, no. I don't think, it's just, just starts it. flashing, yeah. But you can get these in LED as well. Yeah. You see. They look amazing. Diffuser, not diffuser, uh, <laughs> spoiler. What do you think to this? I think this is more aggressive than yours, yeah. except... I do, I do like it. Definitely. I, it could do with a spoiler razor, but then again it, it just adds a bit more downforce to it, doesn't, doesn't it really? It doesn't do much else other than that, I don't think. Sounds that, but yeah, I think... I, I'd mix and match the two. There's so many things I take from that and put on this, but there's so many things I take from this and put on that. Yeah. Um, obviously, so your one has parking sensors. Your one doesn't have parking sensors. Not 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 a reversing it's, camera. Has it got a camera? Nope. See, mine's got a camera. It's got the reverse yeah. parking sensors and stuff. But then again, this is like fully spec. Like you, can, I'm pretty sure you can only buy the ST200s fully spec. Well, the only way you can get cameras and stuff on this one is if you buy an ST3 from yeah. the factory. But yeah, I think exterior-wise, I think. There's a lot between them in certain areas. I definitely would prefer to... You want it to lower to the ground. It does. Mm. I did think that when we yeah, first you, pulled up. But then again, I think that's because when you're driving this, it's a lot smoother than driving well, yeah, that. Your springs you... are straight, whereas the back one's in this. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, See, that is so much comfier to drive in terms of ride comfort, where this is just... Bang, 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 as soon as you're going over potholes and stuff. When I drive that, like you still feel the holes, yeah. potholes and stuff, but it's like a smooth sort of, like you would in any other car. Yeah. But that thing just flies off the handle like a train on steroids. 
Right, so that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed the comparison we had with uh, the ST, the Mark 8 ST, and the uh, Mark 7 ST200. Similar color paintwork and a lot of similarities, but there's a lot of differences as well in between the interior and the exterior. A lot of mix and match that I would personally have and choose to make my own car if I could. Well, obviously we can't do that, it's yeah. up to Ford. However, Kyle has a very, very lovely car and I wouldn't mind getting one myself next time I upgrade. But yeah, if you did enjoy this video, guys, make sure you give it a nice big thumbs up. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on post notifications to keep notified when we post the next video on these bad boys.